dear diary. Ah, London. A city steeped in fog and filled with secrets. My kind of place. As I wander these shadowy streets, I find myself reminiscing of the many foes, or should I say, fools who crossed my path, each one so eager to grasp at immortality as if it was some mere trinket to be plucked from the shells of life. Ah, the irony. If only they knew how very tedious eternity could be. Take Beowulf, for instance. Ah, yes, the mighty slayer of Grendel, the great hero of legend. Such gusto when I first met him. I still remember the moment. He was there, old and dying, having slain the most dangerous of dragons, thinking his tale would end in fire and glory. But no. The fates had other plans. Oh, how his eyes widened when I offered him eternal life. But of course, I didn't mention that it came at a small price. His visage. Bah. But now, in this cursed age of opulence and decadence, we have Dorian Gray. Oh, how he irks me, the very nerve of the boy. A man so rich and pompous and smug, adorned with his peacocking feathers of wealth and beauty, that immortality practically falls into his lap. No struggle, no suffering, just a painting. What is the challenge in that? Where is the fire, the passion? Perhaps... I should make some. Uh -oh. and we he's going to make fire and passion? He's Ooh. like, a fire I and can passion. Only get so erect. Ooh, ooh la la. Oh. As we cut to Dorian Gray's manor. Oh, no. A slam down the hall is where we left off. Blood everywhere and many dead Dorians at this point, too, to count. Uh, the hallway he sees before him bloodied and uh, in just sort of a splattering of, of viscera. Uh, but no body, no signs of, of anyone around. Um, just that echoing or the resonating noise of the door that slammed. Does it sound very far down the hall or just kind of down the hall? It's at least around the corner. Okay. Oh, so it's like that echoing, because these halls are big and wide, so there's a lot of resonation in them. Oh. Miss, um, Mr. Bunyan, I, uh... Oh, yeah? I, uh, think you should take a peek down the hall. Please. You mean after that, that slam we heard? Well. Yes. This All right. Be... This guy looks like An you. Intruder. Yeah. You're not worried about this guy that looks like you? Is dead? Yeah, you have a twin? He must have been your brother or something then if he's your twin, like. Should we well like clean him up or I guess maybe we should take care of Maybe whoever... maybe we should figure out yeah. who's in this building first before uh, yeah. we you know, we tend to the dead. Uh yeah, and Paul yeah. Bunyan uh, pulls up his, he whips out his shotgun and goes, <laughs> and uh, he goes, intruders are always afraid of that sound. Follow oh, that me. That is true. And, uh, you know, he motions Dorian Gray to follow him, but okay. he does I'll, have it. I'll, I'll follow behind it. About 10, 10 15 feet off. All right. All right. Paul and Bunyan. I'll come, I'll come too. Oh, yeah. We're making a line down the hallway. We're in a stack. Uh, um, and then, and just just for Dorian's uh, own knowledge, uh, the door to his right is a uh, a poker room, uh, and the other door at the end of the hall on his right is the guest bedroom. Can I can I peek in this real quick while we're walking by? You can. At least, like you know, make sure nothing crazy is going on in there. As you you sort of 
take the door. It is unlocked. You open it up uh, to reveal uh, the poker room. It looks like a a middle of a game was happening. Um, There's blood around, little speckles of it. Um, a couple of uh, splatters as if in a line as if someone has been slashed and they kind of whip, whipped around and left this trail of blood uh, on the wall. But it's not as much as you saw in the previous room. Um, it looks like perhaps there was a scuffle in here, but it must have spilled out of this room. Oh. Dear. Okay. Well, Paul Bunyan, he looks back at the gang... And silently, he raises his hand, and he goes, one, two, three. hey And he jumps out here, uh, shotgun at the hip. You whoo, jump around the corner, shotgun at the hip. You see a couple of things. Uh, a bloody hallway. You see a large double door to your left. Uh, a door straight ahead. Um, but more uniquely you see uh, right here uh, what Dorian knows is the master bedroom uh, is being barricaded. It looks like some sort of wooden uh, doll or something has been shoved into the handles of it in order to barricade this door shut. A wooden doll? Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, Paul Bunyan whispers back, Clear! Okay, Dorian will... And he moves forward so that you can uh, peek inside here if you wish. Yeah, I'll I'll peek inside this other room. All right. uh, One. Peeking out the door. My reveal flared. You see... Yes, bedroom. Uh, You see you... Another one. Your head has been uh, completely smashed in uh, on this uh, dresser, and you're just sort of laying limp, uh, like on your knees in front of it. Ah. Um, You know that in this guest bedroom, there actually was a hidden revolver in that dresser. You could assume perhaps this version of you may have attempted to go get it. I will try to go get the revolver. All right. I will. Uh, Walton in the room. Do an investigation. Uh, five. A five. Uh, I'll say going over to where you know it is in the dresser, you see that the dresser uh, or that drawer that it is normally hidden under, uh, when you open it and look underneath, it is not there anymore. Um. However, you do see the residue of the um, the sort of adhesive you had used to hide it under there. So it implies that you at least got to it, uh, but perhaps it has been tossed or or who knows where it is at this point. All right, I'm going to double check my, my dead body real quick. All right. You can do another investigation check. Patting yourself down... Uh, you don't find much um, on his person. You do find uh, a handful of bullets uh, for said revolver, um, as well as a large key. Now, unfortunately, your manor is fairly big, so you're not sure where this key goes, uh, but it is a, a key to something in the manor. Okay. You can ass- you had many keys and many servants to deal with locking things. <laughs> Damn. Damn, that was Vincent's job. Oh. <laughs> oh, what are we going to do? I'll you know, just to double check, I'm gonna I'm gonna check the closet or the bathroom. I don't know what it is. I uh you know it's the guest bathroom. A bathroom. Uh, you go to open it and uh, it it's unlocked but it seems like something is sort of wedged on the other side of the door oh dearie me Paul 
Yes? Oh, I need I need those big strong arms of yours. Oh. Oh. All right. Oh. Paul Bunyan comes over and he tries the door. Same thing. It he goes, it's stuck. Uh, is there a crack under the door? Uh, there is. Hey, uh, Mr. Doolittle. Yeah. You have any, uh, you have any, uh, uh, uh companions who'd be able well, to get under this crack? Sure. Maybe I unlock think, uh, the door? I think Whitey would be able to get in there. Yeah. That's, he does tell me, yeah, or you guys assume that he tells me, yeah, you don't know if I can speak to animals. He squeaks. I'm going to I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm going to assume that's a yes. Oh, yeah, that's a yes. Why don't you go on in there, Whitey? Uh, and I'll send him in. All right. Whitey uh, can easily squeeze under the door. Oh, yeah, I guess I should have asked if he could. <laughs> um, it's small enough, and these are gaps are fairly big. Um, you see what looks like a, a bloody uh, bathroom. Uh, mm -hmm. But Whitey also sees what is on the other side of this door, which is... Uh, Oh, crap. You don't see it from his perspective. Does he just come back out and tell you, or is he going to, like, um, yeah, I guess we'll say, say it to you? Okay, well, you squeak to him from behind the door. Yeah. On the other hey, side of the door, you hear Doolittle, uh, do you hear... Uh, I'm putting you know my it's... ear up against the bottom of the door. Oh. So I... Wooden! Squeaking. Wood, wood boy! A wooden boy. Wood boy is under the door. Because there's a wooden boy under the door. That's Dorian, creepy as hell. Uh, D is there anything you need to tell us? Do I have, from my own recollection, do I have a, like a collection of dolls or something? Or, uh, I I need you to make a uh, a check for that. I guess it'd be history. Yeah, history. A history check to see if you remember. You think about it, the most you know is you did collect a lot of stuff and people did give you a lot of gifts. You can't recall getting anything like that, but it wouldn't put it past you either. No. Well, I have no idea. Well, Maybe we should uh, force it open? Yeah, I mean, yeah. probably. I mean, I feel like Paul could probably just kick it open if it's yeah, just... Call Call Whitey back over here. I All right, I'll, I'll, I will. I will squeak. I will squeak for Whitey to return to my pocket. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Paul Bunyan comes up here, and uh, uh, well, first he's just gonna try to force it with his uh, his American strength. All right, make that athletics check. All right. Oh yeah. As you push on this large, uh, pretty nice door, uh, you hear it buckle before inevitably sort of snapping off the hinges, uh, opening this this room rather easily. Um, and laying on the floor is indeed what Whitey said. There is a a little wooden wooden puppet, uh, like a little puppet boy. He's like laying on the ground in this like kind of clump. Uh, uh, it looks like he was wedged under the door uh, to some degree, which was why it, it couldn't be opened. Uh, I'm going to do a, a closer examination of this puppet. It, you know, it's kind of weird. Wait, okay, does the door, is it a, a push door or is it a pull door? I assume a push. Um, from your side, it was a pull. Oh, it's a, pu it's a push now. <laughs> it's yeah, a push well. now. Sorry about this, Dorian. Uh, no. I'm going to do a little examination of this puppet, if I can. Get down right. on my knees and look at it without touching it. All right. You sort of get down on your knees and, and look in. Make mm -hmm. a, and are, are you trying to make some sort of specific check? or? Uh, you know, it's just creepy, you know? So All right. I, I want to just look at it and be like, what the hell is this thing? And you know what? I'll even pick it up and examine it. All right. As you sort of get down and you you get ready to look at it the doll's head moves quickly no as he goes i got no strings told me 
down! Oh. And you see oh. little nails uh, come out of his teeth like fangs oh. as he leaps at you, biting you in the neck. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, you are going to take uh, 1D. Get it off me. You're going to take 3D6 oh. plus 4. Uh, that is 10 damage. Oh. As he is latched onto you, this evil puppet. <laughs> oh, God. Ah! I, I like stumble out the back and hit the wall. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> He's like latched onto your neck. Ah! Get it off me! Get it off me! <laughs> oh God! Oh God! All right, Dorian, Paul uh, Bunyan is in uh, distress. Oh, uh, what do we do? What do we do? Um, Dorian has no fucking idea what to do. Um, get it off me! Is there, what's what's on the shelf? Books? Uh, you can make an investigation, like sort of okay, dig, I'll, see what you see. I'll make a quick investigation. All right. Quickly, you look around. You see a pile of books. Uh, you see a large vase and a, um, and uh, what looks like just a, a little lock box. How big is the vase? Big enough to fit this, this little wooden guy in it? Uh, yeah, probably. Okay, Dorian's gonna pick up the vase and kind of run over and jump on the bed and try to get the little wooden guy in it. All right. <laughs> make, make a... Okay, here, I'll use this as an example then. Make an athletics check to try and, like, manhandle him into the vase. Careful, oh, his you... teeth are in my jugular. He's, like, swinging his little little puppet boy legs around. He smacks you, uh, Dorian. Uh, but he's, like, latched on to Paul Bunyan. And he... Ah! I got no strength to hold me down from taking your blood! Oh, God. And as he's drinking, you see the wood is pulsing as if he is drinking blood. No. Oh. A Doolittle. Oh. Doolittle you know, sort of taken aback by this, uh, is going to, he's like, hold still, Paul. I'll help. And uh, who's going to cast Shillelagh as a bonus <laughs> action on his walking stick? He lifts stick. up his, his walking stick. <laughs> and uh, he's going to step forward. Now, is it, does it seem like, hold on, I got to move this mouse. All right, does it seem like, um, well, I guess I'll, he is... I'll, I, I'll hop up onto the bed. Yeah, so I was that... going to say, he seems... Because he's latched to Paul's neck, he's actually high up. But beating on the bed, you can probably get to him. Yeah, I'm hopped up onto the bed. I got my mouse in my pocket. I got my shillelagh walking stick. I'm going to try and hit the puppet. All right. I'm going to th try to thwack it. A 10. Ow. Unfortunately, you you swing wide and miss. Uh, or do, I, do I hit Paul? <laughs> you, you, like, thwack Paul. Paul. Uh, I need actually I need to roll this real quick because you uh, tried to attack him directly. So we'll use a D three. We? I tried to attack okay. who? <laughs> he, as as you swing, you go Paul and you whack Paul and you hit next to Paul's neck. The puppet lets go of Paul's neck and ah, leaps towards you and jumps on your neck, Doolittle. Oh no! Oh no! Ah! <laughs> it is going to deal you seventeen. Oh my gosh. Oh god. I don't know. As it's biting on your neck. Oh, I gotta move this mouse so I can get myself here. Okay. It's biting my neck. I take 17 damage. Oh my yes. gosh. I'm <laughs> I'm only level three. I, yeah. <laughs> I go help. Help as we get back to Paul. Alright, Paul, um <laughs> Paul. He um let's see, what does he do? He he's like uh aiming his shotgun. Hold still. Oh god. Maybe I, maybe I shouldn't. Oh, maybe god. I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't. Oh, yeah. And he then he like he's like all right, all right, and he he does take his uh his double bladed axe, and um, mm -hmm. you know he does he chokes up on it so he's not doing wild swings. But yes, he yeah. does try to you know hit this puppet with his his double bladed axe. Oh god. With the ten, <laughs> you whoo, swing, uh, missing with the double bladed axe. I, uh, you know, I, I'm sorry. We'll get him next time. 
He's latched onto onto poor uh, on poor Doolittle. Dorian, do something. Yeah, Do uh, Dorian. Dorian's gonna try again to get him in this in the vase. All he's, right. Uh, he's convinced he can do it. <laughs> Let's see it. All right. A ten, oh. unfortunately, does not as you try to get him in. He's he's again fighting against you to to keep that from happening. Oh, uh, that'll be Dorian's turn, yeah. Do little. This puppet right. is biting your neck. His his uh, fangs, these little rusty nails, stabbing in as he. <laughs> I'm a real boy, vampire. <laughs> I feel the life force bleeding out from me as I as I as I bark and and whine to Jip, come help me! As my bonus action, I will command Jip to come over here, and he's gonna try <laughs> and fight this puppet. All right. Uh, which he does get advantage because he has pack tactics. Yes, I like that. <laughs> uh. Wait, I thought uh, I had... 19 will, will bite him. Well, 19 will hit, but I do... I didn't roll my two. I might get a crit. Let me do that, Let me do that again. Oh, that's not a crit, though. No nope. I got a minus one. But... <laughs> does bite onto this little puppet boy. Uh, I also rolled initiative, which is not anything. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It wasn't a crit, so I did... I did one piercing. Oh. And then uh, <laughs> what do you do? Because you still have your... Uh, and then I will try to... Can I can I get my cane up to try and thwack it off of me? Yeah, because he's like on your neck. Yeah, I'm gonna try and like ah ah. ah. Yes, eighteen. And eighteen will hit him. For eleven, 11. bludgeoning. As you wham whack him with your cane, he goes uh sort of flying off. Ah, I got no strings, and he smashes into here uh, before just breaking into wooden pieces. Uh, those wooden pieces bleeding uh, a red blood. What the fuck? Ow. I need both of you to make con saves. Oh, man. All right. Oh, God, are we going to get Bunyan Vampire? <laughs> 17 do, for Doolittle. Doolittle do passes. And Bunyan passes. As both of you have resisted getting tetanus. <laughs> Paul, Paul Bunyan's just kind of like touching the little holes gingerly on his neck. He's like, Ooh. what the fuck, Dorian? This was this was painful. Oh. The hell was that thing? <sighs> Let me go check. Paul Bunyan's going to come over. He's going to do this huge squat down. And just sort of pick at the bleeding wooden bones of this, of this, this, this little wooden puppet. You pick it up, uh, the, the sort of remnants of it. It is indeed a, a little wooden puppet boy with these leader hosen. Um, he has this tiny little yellow hat. Uh, and his, his uh, teeth are like these wooden carved teeth, except for his fangs which are actually these rusty nails. Oh, so he only has four. Does he have two fangs or four? He has four fangs, four Oof. rusty nails. Oof. Did you make this, Dorian? No. Oh, I was just asking. Looks like, <laughs> uh, looks like that puppet. Well, not that puppet. Looks like that guy didn't, uh, didn't fare so well against this puppet. And he motions over to the the headless body over here. You think that puppet killed that man? Well, let's see. And I go over to the man, and I inspect mm -hmm. his neck. Um, you see that uh, his head was smashed in, which oh, is probably right. what killed him. But oh. you do see a bunch of little puncture wounds around him, like something was biting at him a lot. Oof. Just for the fun of it, I'm going to go through this little desk, see if there's anything juicy in there. Well, we're actually going to cut away. Oh, okay. As we find ourselves back in the streets of London uh, at Hyde Park. 
uh, Tarzan and Red Fox, you are standing next to one another uh, in the street. Uh, in fact, I'll say probably everybody has sort of recollected up, having collected the information you all found last time. Red Fox, you look, and Grendel and that that homeless man are gone. They're gone? They're gone. Like, Grendel went off the homeless man? You you looked, and then so. one minute he was there, and another minute he wasn't. <sighs> Okay. Are we starting with Tarzan, like doing this in order? Um, no, we're just kind of we're we're all together at this oh. point. Me, okay. So. Um, I'm gonna head over to the ba bench and see Checking. if there's, yeah, <laughs> see where they went. <laughs> Checking the Jesus bench. Jesus Christ. Um, you sort of investigate. Uh, if you would like to. Uh, yes. Is, or do a survival or invest investigate is what it is. 19. As you look down, uh, trying to figure out where you can maybe find it, uh, you see uh, what looks like tracks. Um, you see what looks like big Bigfoot tracks. And what looks like a drunken man's tracks, because uh, they were incongruent, right? It was obviously this guy was stumbling. Um, and they go this way, and then down behind, uh, here, move Grendel for a sec, um, Kensington Palace. Uh, so basically out of Hyde Park and down this sort of street here. Okay, I'm going to follow them. Um. Something else you notice, though, with a 19, are more hoof tracks. They're just in the mud right by the edge of the uh, the curb. Oh, like they they were following them? Does it how the tracks look? Or uh, Yes. It looks like the tracks were heading towards Hyde Park. So obviously they're heading to where they originated from. So when that man got killed, the tracks were heading towards Hyde Park. It got looks you, like Grendel and them are following the tracks from where they came from. I'm going okay, to... he, he's going to follow. Seems like that's I will the say best Tarzan and everybody else are there. Yeah. All right, first, I have a petition that we remove the riffraff that aren't here from the map. Get them out of here. They have their own map. Get out of here. Get out of that riffraff. Oh, these guys? Yeah. Yeah, we know, we know where they are. They ain't here. They're dead. Uh, does it seem like it would be um, advantageous to get up high to try to find more of the hoof prints since they appear to be, like, kind of jumping around? It would be. Yeah, it's hard. Uh, Tarzan I will, will say probably that. the highest point is the palace. Tarzan will like scale Kensington hard? Palace. Like how hard is it to find a unicorn? <laughs> yeah, that's the question. Uh, me no know what unicorn be. Neither do I, man. Right, I will say. <laughs> As you head towards Kensington Palace, there are guards there. Do they move? Do they respond to sound? Or do they kind of like just stare? They they <laughs> see you and they go, Oi, uh, hold up. Uh, palace is closed. Uh, for the moment. So, uh, you know, no. Don't, uh, no trouble here. Uh, man, and you may want to close yourself. Me not, me not go in palace. And then I'm gonna like juke him and be like, me go on palace, and try to get to a, a scalable wall. Okay, wait. <laughs> Make uh, a, uh... Oh yes. Uh, Appleseed will walk up and just go. Uh, oh God, how do I do this again? Uh, yeah, it's a level one. Yes, but. And just cast Charm Person on 
and just you know how he is you know he's one of those uh, he doesn't have long to live you know type of deal he's not one of those incurable things where he's like me ape he he's a child but he's an accelerated man's body oh oh oh, oh, it's that sweet smell of of apples oh yes of, of course uh um oh I, I get it he's he's a bit you know and he points to his head like oh he's slow uh yeah well have fun just don't yeah. hurt yourself and uh and be careful we're redoing we redid the railing uh, right up there so it may fall on you he, All right, he does know how to climb things right I don't know me came on the boat illegally. Starts in. Oh. Starts. <laughs> starts as it's in. <laughs> you start uh, climbing up, and uh, are you doing it fast or are you doing it uh, just kind of carefully? I'll, I'll do it carefully since I've been warned about the rail. All right, so you you can climb up with no check. Uh, but while that's going, is Doctor Watson doing anything? Oh my god. Doctor Watson is. Um... He's just gonna follow the hoof prints, kind of like how uh, Sergeant Jeffrey Fox is doing. So mm-hmm. that's that's what I'm doing. Um, right. I'm can can I casual or passively make like investigative checks to see if I'm noticing anything else along the way? Um, yeah, you can. You make a perception check. Two. Uh, you do not two. see <laughs> anything. Okay. You see Tarzan climbing up onto the building. I feel like that's the that's the bit that's distracting. All right, Tarzan, up on the building. Uh, you can make a perception check to look out. Uh, what are you trying to find? Uh, just, just more hoofprints or things that appear to be from the creature leaving the hoofprints. All right. Lucky 13. 13. Um, Unfortunately, it is night, so it is a bit hard to see from up here. Um, The best you see is that while uh, you actually, you know what? I'll give you this. Dr. Watson and uh, and Red are following these tracks behind the palace, but they're coming at it from two different angles. Uh, The origin of them uh, probably come from where Watson is. So actually closer to where the murder is. So basically this thing, from what you're able to tell from them following tracks and walking around. It's like running in a circle? It, came, it ran in a circle, okay. basically. So it started from basically Albert Hall and then ran up towards the palace up and across the street at which point it it saw the victim okay ran towards him into Hyde Park and then inevitably killed it down here Tarzan's gonna try to convey that to uh to Chi Chi but from up (laughs) with hand signals from up on top of the building (laughs) a lot of circular (laughs) gestures um some kind of very ape-like G- gestures, <laughs> scratching, you G-G know. needs to make an insight check. All right. Oh, hold on. I don't have Chi-Chi up. Do-do-do-do-do. Insight. Insight is wisdom, right? Yes. He doesn't have, like, abilities. <laughs> Chi-Chi, from the ground. Tarzan, you see Chi-Chi just give a thumbs up. <laughs> All right. Tarzan gets a thumbs up back, thinking that he's been successful. <laughs> Chi Chi gives two thumbs up. Does that guy oh, yeah. on the I ground? Does so that guard on the ground say anything about? Me? The guard's just shaking his head. And he turns to Johnny Appleseed and he goes, "Man, that boy can climb." Yeah, I just yeah. read Gilbert yeah, yeah, Grape yeah, at the yeah. top of a water tower. <laughs> I didn't think he could do it, but there he is. Neither did I. What's he doing with his hands? 
I don't know. Hey, do you want a do you want an apple? Hmm. I mean, I am a little hungry. Yeah. Well, okay. All right. He takes the apple he from you. Hands him there, and Johnny runs off. All right. Goodbye. Uh. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. It runs off. Red. Go back up to meet up with uh, the other two. Red and Watson, you guys sort of meet together, uh, having followed these tracks uh, from either street. Uh, you, Red, see that Tarzan is gesturing wildly at the monkey, who just keeps giving thumbs up. Keeps giving thumbs up. Okay. Um, Watson, you speak monkey, don't you? I do, in fact, speak monkey, but not ape, unfortunately. Oh, is that what Tarzan's signing? Okay. I'm actually not quite certain what that gentleman is signing. Um, Appleseed had mentioned that he might be um, uh, one of those those poor individuals that might have gotten hit in the head too many times in the noggin and doesn't have long to live. Um, Fox just kind of nods along with that, and that like he he kind of assumed uh, Tarzan was soft witted in some way. <laughs> <laughs> in in the most friendly way possible. Look, I have an intelligence of two. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys, now. leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> he can count to ten, but then he has to restart because he runs out of fingers. Yeah. No, no, I can go up to twenty. We got toes in the jungle. <laughs> Appleseed Apple said the strangest thing. He said that the, that these were not. Um, you know how he had stuck the apple seed inside of the body. Yeah. It formed a a perfect shape of. The, the implemented weapon. It made a um, a duplicate of it. A, uh, it's, it's, it's like a mold, like how they would for uh, blacksmithing. It made a mold of the weapon. Yes. What was it? It's preposterous. It's a horn. It's like a, like a goat horn, but it's straight. Like a unicorn horn. Unfortunately, but I've never seen such a thing. Then again, I am a walking, talking monkey, so... Johnny Appleseed. Through all the tracking, did I see any um, evidence of Grendel? Uh, You did not. Uh, It seemed like, at best, Grendel went back to where the murders were, but uh, you didn't really track beyond that because you met up with Watson. Okay. Uh, Appleseed, as you're standing there, you see the guard slump over. Slump over. Another one goes, becomes a new leaf on the great tree. (laughs) It's weird that you're saying all this out loud next to the two of these guys. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, guys. Oh. Yeah. Uh... Tarzan claimed uh, I climbed the tower. What's going on? Wait, are you talking to us or the guards? You. Well, we can't. You... We can't find any evidence of this thing here. And does anybody have any idea what Tarzan's trying to say? Oh, and the guard just fell over, right? Yeah. He like looks like he yeah. fell asleep. Yeah. He fell asleep. It's weird, right? Yeah. Was that wasn't you? What? That wasn't you? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Can I investigate this the guard have... or do a medical check on the guard? <laughs> you can. You can go over a medicine check. Give me a. And and his is his buddy like reacting at all? His buddy is also slumped over. Okay, they're both down. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that that would that would pose a different reaction from the two of us, I would assume. Yeah. Three. You check. I mean, he kind of smells. I can't tell. <laughs> he smells like apple cider. Um, maybe these two have been drinking. 
He smells can like I, apple cider. Can yeah. I perform Bonnie will a take medic, a big medical check as well? of an apple very loudly. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a medic medicine check as well with uh All right. with my with my healing kit because I am a doctor. Alright. Dr. Watson, you go over and you check them. They are unconscious. They are alive. They do smell a lot like apple cider. Hmm. That's the strangest um, thing. As one of them kind of goes, uh, uh, and he sees you. Oh, hello, monkey. Uh, hello, sir. It's actually a Sir. Yep. Yeah. Sir. And he stands up. Oh, I help you? Uh, yes. Um, can you convey what that gentleman up there is saying? Yeah. And he turns Thank around really like weird. It's like he's his he doesn't turn his head. He moves his shoulders and looks up. Is he moving like the cockroach guy from uh, Men in Black? Yes. <laughs> if you've ever seen that film, he goes. Uh, he's waving his hands. We, I, we are aware of this. But he also yeah. speaks. He also speaks with his hands. All right. And he turns doing the same thing. Except he, like, kind of limply lifts his hands. Like, he's having... It's almost like he's having trouble moving them. And he starts just waving them in these really weird ways, trying to convey a message. Tarzan, you will see this guard, like, waving you down in this very weird way. Do I understand him? Uh, no. No. <laughs> it's just... The it's all gibberish. Uh, Tarzan... He lifts his arms up and starts swaying. He was acting normal before this. Can I do a perception Tarzan's check? Tarzan's gonna see, like... climb down. Oh, go ahead. I'm just gonna say that. He's okay. gonna climb down and head over towards uh, Watson and the body. Alright. Uh, Red, what were can you I do a perception do? check? Like, to see if this guy's possessed or something? Because yeah, he just started can... acting like this out of nowhere. You can make a check. Um, that would yeah, be uh, yeah uh, with an 18 you look at him he turns and stares at you like directly and it's very uncomfortable and he goes do you need anything else uh, and you see poking out of his ear is just a little tiny root a tiny root yep Uh, his eyes are going to kind of shift to apple seed and then back. Who's, by the way, I think we left off, he's eating an apple. Yeah, he's like standing there doing his crazy apple shit. Um, he, he's I just think the unicorn the might be in the palace. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a unicorn in the palace here. Um... Fox is going to approach the guard and just say, like, hey, can I can I check something? I think you got something on the side of your face. Let me get it for you. Yeah, sure. And he kind of, again, turns his shoulders uh, looking towards Appleseed. And Appleseed, you make eye contact with him, and he just gives you a big thumbs up. And Appleseed will thumbs up him as he walks into the castle. Okay. All right. <laughs> Uh, do you, uh, what do you do, uh, Fox? I'm going to go for, turn. I'm going to try to go for a grapple, I think, and get this guy down and make sure he's not hurt. All right. Um, how do I do that? Is that an athletics check? That is an athletics check. Okay. I got the DC. Um. 
<laughs> you you easily grab him as he goes, Ooh, a hug! And he just kind of goes limp. <laughs> okay. What, I'm, I'm going to say, like, because Watson's a doctor to come check this out. I'm going to go and proceed to check it out. I'm just kind of astonished currently. You see a tiny little root with a little leaf on it. Oh. Uh, sticking out of his there? ear. That's a that's a medical condition I've never seen before. Um, using tools within my healer's kit, can I just kind of see whether or not, like, if it go, like, can I look to see whether or not it looks like it's just, like, kind of stuck in there, or if it's actually coming out from the ear canal? It is coming out from his ear canal. Oh, okay, okay. I... I might need to look into this man's eyes. It's coming straight out of his, his ear canal as uh, I'm gonna like open up the guy's eye like eyelids and like yep. flashlights haven't been invented yet, have they? Uh no. Okay. Uh, uh his eyes are dilated. His eyes are dilated currently. Um Well, unless I can actually, like, peer inside of it, like, through into the eye itself, I don't know whether or not, uh, if this is terminal. Me, me try something. All right, Tarzan, what you gonna do? Me grab twig from ears. Gotcha. <laughs> Wait, we, we can we can hand him over Let's to the hospitals it. and get him to a hospital. Let's do it. Tarzan grabbed it. Let's see it, boy. Way of jungle. Tarzan, no. Do I get a roll? No. <laughs> <laughs> make it, you can make an athletics check or a medicine check. No. All right, well, I definitely need a medicine check. Hey! No. <laughs> Fox is saying no in the same way he says it to his dog. Me no, Tarzan. You, you grab it, Tarzan, and just rip it off like you're pulling a weed. And uh, you pull out this little bit of root, which you realize is actually a tiny sapling. And the guy <laughs> wakes up and he goes, Oh, great heavens! And then he falls uh, unconscious again. Uh, there's a little bit of blood running out of his nose, but he seems otherwise unharmed. Uh, and this little sapling you're holding in your hand, Tarzan, goes, Ah, oh, man! And then it sort of disintegrates. Me really weirded out now. Um, Doc, this man, he be okay? <laughs> Um, I'm gonna do another medicine check on, like, whether or not the dude is, like, fine. You, uh, check him over, and he is perfectly fine. Either way, I'm gonna fire a man and carry him over to the constables so he can get some, <laughs> like, uh, All right, some medicine something. check. Yeah. As you're, as you're doing that apple seed. Yeah. Four guards <laughs> have you, like, two guards are holding you on either side, and the other two are walking with them as they're sort of just pull, taking you back out of the palace. Oh, I wasn't able to get in the palace. Sorry, sir. I, yeah. Not a vacation day. Uh, oh, uh, uh, Dr. Wild. Oh, what happened to the guard? What happened to, to these men? They, they go over. <laughs> Uh, and as this is all happening, you hear something in the distance as you are heading back to the, uh, to the murders to where the constables are, you hear something, Red Fox. Uh, as, uh, what looks like a black unicorn with orange, with an orange mane charges past, uh, Lestrade, knocking him over and down the street, heading towards uh, Park Lane. Uh, as it does, 
it poofs occasionally in black smoke, uh, sort of disappearing and then reappearing. Um, I'm going to shout to the rest of the party that the unicorn's there and offload the guard with a brief explanation before sprinting in its direction. Oh, oh okay. Oh, and they like take the guard from you. <laughs> As it... <laughs> down the street. A chase ensues. Tarzan's a after chase. it. A chase. Uh, uh, ensues. Uh, actually, Tarzan's probably the fastest at this. Yeah. I'm going after um, this thing. Yeah. I, how is Tarzan going to attempt to catch up with it? How far back you am I? You're around trees. Around trees, okay. Uh, if possible, I'm going to try to swing through the trees so I have uh, less ground friction. See, that'll speed me up. All right, you start swinging through the trees. Um, you are able to catch up to it a lot faster than the rest of them running on foot. You are probably within a close enough distance to attempt to jump on it uh, or do something else if you like. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll try to mount you. the guy. I'm gonna mount the I'm unicorn. I'm going to pull out the unicorn. As it is barreling down this street. Would it be fair uh, to say that the Chi Chi was kind of keeping up pace with everybody? That is, yeah. <laughs> uh, how is Tarzan going to attempt? Is he going to swing up onto it? Uh, an acrobatics? Yeah, with an acrobatics. All right. Sixteen. Sixteen. What he get hits? Out really quick. will as you whoo, land on the top of it it is pissed uh tarzan you feel this like sort of hot uh this heat coming from this unicorn uh as well as that strong smell of soot and sulfur uh as it's neighing and sort of kicking side to side um it poofs dark cloud of black smoke appears around you and you realize you're a little ways forward as if it is teleported with you on its back uh, as it is tempting to buck you off Tarzan yells out smell bad go fast uh, you all see him traveling forward more and more uh, sort of knocks over a, uh, a poor commoner as it barrels down this street uh, and you hear a civilian as you guys, the rest of you come running by going, Who is he they're heading to Grey Manor. That d beast. Uh, and we are going to cut back. Oh, I, hold on. I gotta pay one suspense thing. While, while all the guards were helping, that other guard sits up. Whoa. Mind if I give her a hand? Then we, we come back to the manor. Uh, <laughs> as, oh, I accidentally one. rolled, I accidentally rolled, uh, initiative for Jip, but I think Jip just goes on my turn, so you can yeah. take, take him. As uh, we cut to Paul Bunyan and them, uh, having pretty nasty wounds on your necks. Yeah. Yeah, Ow. Paul's Paul's gonna look around for a bandage, maybe. Mm -hmm. Dr. Doolittle's gonna cast cure wounds on himself. <laughs> <laughs> well, Paul, Paul Bunyan's gonna look over Dr. Doolittle pulls out bandages and starts wrapping it on himself. <laughs> That's what this care wound is. You got any of those for me? Um, well, I only have a certain number of bandage slots. No, I, <laughs> I'll hook you up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll cast uh, cure wounds. And 
Dorian didn't get oh. any injuries, right? No. no, he did not. All right. So this will be for Bunyan. At least not this Dorian. Yeah. Oh. Apparently there's a lot of them. Well, thank you. I do what I can. I do, that, I do what I that can. That little puppet. I mean, you know what happened. Oh, I was. I saw it. He um, quickly rummages around. Just to see what's in there. An investigation, sort of looking down there. There's some clothes, uh, some guest towels. Uh, you find a, a deck of cards. Oh, no. uh, but it doesn't seem like there is anything of note uh, in here. I would, I'm going to take that deck of cards. All right. Um, he goes, <clears throat> Paul says, you think that little boy was what made the slam? Uh, I don't know. I mean, that little boy is creepy, but small. Does your, does your dog hear anything else in here? Um, that's a good question. Jip does have keen hearing and smell. So can I do a perception check to try and sniff out any uh, any unusual smells in this uh, in this room? You can. Hell yeah. A sixteen. A sixteen. As you are, or as he is sniffing around, um, he kind of <laughs> uh, he goes. Uh, oh. Sweat. Mm -hmm. Sweat. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, blood. Mm -hmm. Wood. Mm -hmm. eh. uh, uh, stuff you that stuff you eat at big colorful place. Look like string. Ring. Spaghetti? No. Nest. Nest. Pink. Oh, that's private. <laughs> oh. Why people eat in public? Uh cotton candy? Yeah. That stuff. Interesting. Alright, guys. Jip says that there is sweat and blood and wood and cotton candy well that's a surprise yeah i wasn't expecting that last one the rest of them i i i understand dorian well where's the a, cotton candy are you a cotton candy guy well i like i do partake sometimes but taking the confectionaries yes <laughs> of the peasant folk from time to time yes dorian's gonna <laughs> gonna pick up the the sheet a little bit and peek under the bed all right uh peeking under the bed uh you are going to find uh some shoes uh, as well as a small chest. And way in the back is a revolver. Oh. Uh, Dorian's going to get the chest and the revolver. All right. You, you slide up this chest. It's like a low foot locker. Um, it's pretty mundane. You, you really just kept it in here so that guests could put things in it. Uh, you know, if they're staying and they don't want nobody messing with it. Um, sort of reaching all the way to the back, you get to the revolver. Um, it is a, a standard revolver. Um, however, bog the bog standard, if you will, uh, the actual revolving part of it is missing. Oh. Well, I'm missing my cylinder. 
Does it, did it look like it was knocked back here or thrown back here? Or? It looks like it got knocked on the ground and slid all the way to the back. Okay. And then my body had bullets on it. Mm -hmm. So it's got to be somewhere around here. He's going to he's going to keep looking for the for the cylinder. He, looking for the cylinder. Oh. What is Doolittle doing? Um, well, Doolittle is a, a little unnerved at the sight of the re revolver. You know, he's a British fella. No, this is 1800s Britain where people oh. still had guns. Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. Then he sees it as normal and he's going to Well, be he like, don't like weapons. He's a pacifist. Yes, yeah, I'm a pacifist by nature. I prefer, you know, I, sometimes I'll give a, a, a soul a good a good thwack with my cane to set them in order, but I don't I don't really like the idea of, you know, taking a life. But I guess if it's in self defense, you know, it might be something. You did get do. bit by a by a fucking puppet. Yeah, but I would, I, I would imagine that, that I, like I do, I don't care about the lives of puppets. This, you know, if, this is also this is also Dorian's house. Like, yes. Oh yeah, no, I'm not telling you you can't have a gun in your house. I'm Stand just, your like, ground, just, law. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, just, yeah. I'm just saying. You know, be careful with that thing. Is the safety on? They don't have safety. Yeah, for oh. a bar. Okay. <laughs> is it loaded? Is, is the, well, he has bullets, but he doesn't have a chamber. Dory, it's a single loaded revolver. He can just put it in the. Yeah. Wow, that works. <laughs> you feel like Dorian in a pinch? You could do that. You could do that. That is how they work. Dorian's gonna keep looking for for a, a few minutes. Tell the dog to uh, sniff it out. I think Doolittle is actually going to take a shit. All right. Actually, I probably could get the dog to sniff it out. It'll probably smell like. Doolittle is like taking a it. shit in a room which, by the way, does not have a door. <laughs> Don't look. <laughs> the open door policy. As, eh? as you're, my as you're taking a, my bowels get loose <laughs> when I'm nervous. Part as bad, you're taking part a animal. Dump, you. You hear something, Doolittle. Uh-oh. Is it in the toilet? No, Jip just walks in and watches you. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> that's Jip, what are you doing in there? Oh, no, oh. excuse me. Oh, <laughs> oh hello. I, I do cover myself. All right. Uh, Dorian, do you, <laughs> would you like to make an investigation then to attempt to <laughs> find the chamber? 17. All right. Sort of scurrying around and, and checking kind of at the post and at this, you do find it. It had managed to somehow wedge itself over here in the bookcase. Um, you do see bits of, uh, of soot on it. It seems like the revolver was fired at least once. Oh. Interesting. Did the puppet have a bullet hole in him? Uh, the puppet does not. Ooh. And you know you really think... with a, with a seventeen as you as you look around, you look up and you actually see a bullet hole in the ceiling. Huh. Interesting. Wait, did this Dorian Gray have his head smashed? Yeah. What, do you think he shot himself? Paul Bunyan <laughs> walks over and look and, and closely examines this head. All right. Is there a hole in the roof of the mouth? Dorian, roll a 2d6. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Bad. 11. 11. All right, so ideal. Uh, no. There is not. Uh, Dorian, you have a flash. Uh, you uh, reaching to go get the gun, scrambling to get it. 
uh, before being attacked by an invisible assailant. Um, before you could pull the gun to him, though, however, a little wooden puppet bites you on the fucking neck and you fire the gun in the air before the invisible figure knocks the gun out of your hand and then blackness. Oh. Well, I think there was someone else here. Who? Other than the puppet? Other than the puppet? I don't know. Maybe it's the same person that killed Vincent. Oof. Hey, are you done in there? Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, Dorian, I hate to ask, but is there toilet paper? I'm going to pull uh, the book off the shelf. The dog <laughs> brings you a towel, like a little towel. <laughs> I, All right, I, I toss the use, book in there. I'm going to... Uh, what book is it? Uh, hold on. <laughs> Roll 2d6. Four. He Hell throws yeah. you the only book that he could have thrown you. Oh, no. <laughs> the, the important works of Dr. Doolittle. Ooh. An animal science guide. I'll use the towelette. <laughs> <laughs> and then I will leave it in the sink. When you uh, uh when you're doing that, you kind of look at the book, like you kind of open it accidentally, and you see a couple pages were ripped out. Uh it, you assume Dorian maybe was using the paper for a lot of different things. <laughs> you look in the trash can, you find cigarettes rolled up in it. I'm gonna feel I'm gonna be sad about that. But I'm not gonna say anything. You know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hold that inside. And I'm gonna come back out. Wait, I no, it was a four. This is supposed to be really bad. You look at it also, and it says to my biggest fan, Dorian, Doctor Doolittle, signed. In, oh, I signed, signed it cover. too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just like to imagine that there's like eight pages of like how to talk to dog, and it's just. You it's just in dog, out. though. It's just in dog. Bark, yeah, bark, but it's, bark, 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 it's bark. just like typed out, just bark. It's absolutely unreadable. <laughs> A but... b -bark wolf. Owl. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I'll put, I'm going to put the, I'm going to put the book in my uh, coat pocket. All right, you put the first edition sign uh, the book first in your edition, pocket. First edition, A. I will say, I'm going to put this in my inventory a um vandalized yeah first edition copy first edition <laughs> autographed copy yeah dr doolittle's life work i love it <laughs> say dorian since you live in a mansion Yes. Do you have any cool uh, secret passageways? Every spooky mansion needs one. Oh. No, I don't. You don't got either. any. <laughs> I don't think so. You actually what? had Victor uh, like go over the architecture of it, uh, and like, you know, you really didn't look at any of the blueprints of that either. There's some blasted holes in the fireplaces. But, you know. Oh, let's just go <laughs> that, outside. That's a Torian believes the only <laughs> secret entrances are in the fireplaces and they all lead to the roof. <laughs> <laughs> well, boys, what do you say we, uh, you know, make sure the rest of the building's safe? Yes. Yes, why don't... Why don't you go first? You have the big axe and, you know. Yeah. Who, who's yeah, better I, uh, at killing wooden things than the guy? As an American, it is my duty to protect Great Britain. That's true, because we're That better. is certainly the view of everybody in the 1800s England. <laughs> <laughs> uh, again, Paul Bunyan is uh, walking with his shotgun. 
Uh, and you said there's a wooden puppet on this door, right? There is. Paul Bunyan's gonna preemptively. Paul Bunyan's gonna go. Psst. There's another puppet. Hey, take a shot. Paul Bunyan actually takes out. Uh, he puts his shotgun away, and he pulls out his both of his axes actually, and um, he does. He goes after this little wooden puppet with with uh, the old one two of his axes. If that's okay, uh, that is fine. Okay, as you walk over, you. Two. I need uh, Dorian Gray and uh, Doctor Doolittle to make perception checks. All right, all right. Twenty-one. Yeah. And thirteen. Keen. Dorian. Above. <laughs> Paul Bunyan. On one of the light fixtures is a wooden puppet. Oh, fucking that puppet. turns its head around and goes. I got no strings. I'm gonna <laughs> get you. And he drops on on Paul Bunyan. Can I try to make? Oh her no! Uh, you can, as okay. he's like falling midair. Oh, a seven. You. Boom! Shoot Paul Bunyan's hat forward. No! Uh, which unfortunately blocks his view as pff, this fucking puppet drops down on him again. And ah, bites into Paul Bunyan's neck, dealing 15 damage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jeez. Actually, Paul Bunyan is going to use his American Endurance. Oh, hell yeah. And he's going to oh, flex his neck muscles. Yeah. <laughs> and shrug off 11 plus... Your con. Uh, plus three. So 14 damage. 14. So he actually as only you, takes one damage. He bites you. You feel the tiniest little prick as you flex to basically resist the bite. As he... Oh. Ah! He can't quite get his teeth into you. Yes. I'm going to kill you. It is your turn, Paul. Fight. I'm going to hack you to pieces. <laughs> and uh, he uh, he hacks with his double-bladed axe first time. All right. Which I assume Mine is, is going to miss. Okay. And then he hacks with his hand axe the second time that is going to hit as you just slice this little puppet in half as he just falling to pieces how many of those do you have in this house I don't think those are mine oh as tensions get high, we cut outside. To Bay, who's just <laughs> chewing on some of the roses. And she's looking out towards the street and sees Tarzan riding oh. atop a unicorn. Oh. <laughs> As Tarzan is yelling, this horse is going fucking crazy. Or this unicorn is going crazy. As May is just watching it, the horse barrels forward and smashes into this door uh, with Tarzan on its back. Uh, Tarzan, I need you to make a deck save. Deck save. Let's see. Heyo. 23 is you. Hold on tight to it. It boom smashes into this door, breaking it open into splinters. Uh, and 
it's going to disappear in a poof of smoke, uh, sort of <laughs> appearing in this ballroom. Uh, and I'm going to reveal this room really quick. <laughs> Faye is just out there watching. Uh, you did see a dead Dorian. Oh no, Dorian. Uh, as it, shoo. and if you want to put yourself here. All right. Uh, we are going to actually clear off the initiative. Uh, the rest of you are going to show up. Uh, if you cut through the woods, you'll end up being over here. Uh, if you went down the road, you'll end up being here or here. Oh, yeah, all my oh. other animals are still down here. <laughs> the animals were all watching, too. They did nothing. <laughs> yeah, Fox went right down the road. All right. Once you all put your tokens down, uh, we will roll initiative. Oh, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it didn't pop up on the tracker for some reason. Oh here. Yeah, you always gotta have your token clicked. I did. That's why it threw me off. Yeah. It appeared for a second and disappeared. Maybe I did it right as he was clearing the other one or something. That was probably it. I think Is that might have happened to me too. Yeah. Where's the animal in there? What did you get, Tarzan? It Twenty-two. A... There we go. I got it. Okay. Sending. Let me make sure everybody's on here. Let's see. If, uh... All right. Uh, Tarzan. I guess it's great. You slide into this room. Weirdly, uh, in the tense moment, you 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 can't really say much to it, but there is another dead Dorian and what looks like a butler. Dorian, um, no! <laughs> yeah, as the horse <laughs> slides uh, on this, like, blood in the ballroom. I'll stop, this crazy thing! is pissed. Yeah. Um, can... Do I have enough purchase that I can attempt to, like get my rope out and make like a some sort of makeshift mechanism for holding better holding on to it uh yes all right i'm gonna i'm gonna fashion some sort of rain system out of rope real quick all right i will need a we'll do a sleight of hand because you're trying to like get it so you have a better grip on this thing yeah six Oh, no. As you're doing it, it bucks, you know, and is actually going to kind of toss you off of it. You're not going to fall prone, but it kind of kicks you off of the thing. And then stops, looks at you, and then just starts kind of... Is it like staring me uh, down like it's it... going to charge? Yeah. All right. Um... I will, I will, can I use the dodge act, take the dodge action? <laughs> you can. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. All right. Do little. Uh, I'm assuming that I can, like, hear that there's a commotion going on out here, yeah. so I wouldn't just. I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it. You do hear a commotion in this room, uh, but you, from, from what you know of horse talk, this horse is just oh, yelling. right. He's just, so he's just like, Rah! like a pissed off, just, Rah! Rah! but I can tell that it is a horse. Yes. All right. So I'm going to say, Hey guys, it sounds like a pissed off horse over here. And I'm going to go, I'm going to walk. Uh, let's see. 30 feet would put me in Bunyan's spot. I don't think I'm going to, I don't think I'm running. Cause I don't think that I, I don't think that I'm worried about it other than that a horse is yelling. So I'm going to sort of make my way over there. All right. 
and that is going to be my turn. Well, actually, I will I will use my bonus action to cast Shillelagh just so that I have, uh, just in case I need to whack something, you know. All right, Paul Bunyan. You Paul Bunyan hold. goes. Time to finish what I started, and he comes over here, and he uh, he tries to chop this wooden puppet that's uh, barricading the door in half. All right, uh, make an attack. All right, he does with his one, and then he does with his hand axe. Both of them will hit. Let's see the damage real quick. As you whoo chop and whoo chop again smashing uh this puppet to pieces and probably a bit of the door mm -hmm. uh as, as you feel as though it is uh, free to open with just kind of a, a little kick can he do that on his turn you can it's a use object so all right as he's as you oh yeah he's gonna give it a little uh front kick with his with his foot you boom kick it open and on the other side your eyes, for a second, you're blinded. Oh. As you see a beautiful unicorn. Oh. <laughs> oh, hey, and a dead little. Dorian. <laughs> Did you do that? Wait. You know, do. Dr. Doolittle, ask him if he did that. And then uh, Paul Bunyan's going to end his turn. <laughs> right. This male unicorn is fucking pissed it charges towards you uh tarzan sort of lowering its head and swiping up with his vampire horn uh, it misses as it whoop, swipes past you you feel this sort of evil energy uh sort of emanating from it uh as it does that it then turns around really quick and is going to attempt to hit you with his hooves. Oh, okay. Gotta make that a disadvantage because I am dodging. Oh, that is right. Uh, I'm still hurt, right. but it's not a crit. Then yes, it rolled a 19 and a 20. As it kicks you with the the hooves of it uh, to, for 10 bludgeoning, and then it is going to uh, run away, which will provoke all right. I, uh, am I able to quickly whip out my father's knife for this, or do I have to do an unarmed strike? You can. All right. I whip it out, and I strike with the blade and miss. As you miss, it doo -doo 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 -doo, uh, runs away. And as it does, as a bonus action... It poof, poofs away. Uh, but you get this ominous feeling as you still see some of that dark, shadowy uh, smoke around you. You get the feeling it is just roaring up for a charge. Uh oh. Uh, Dorian Gray. What the fuck is going on? Is that a fucking horse in my house? You hear two horses, actually. Oh. <laughs> Dorian Gray just... You know what? Dorian Gray is sick of having such a fucking dirty house, and he's going to get ready to kill a fucking horse. Dorian, you see this beautiful, majestic unicorn. Uh, as it's just sitting there, there's no wind, but for some reason its hair is, like, blowing. Does it look like it's worth money? Oh, it looks like it's a shitload of money. You have, oh, okay. you probably have a tapestry that has a picture of a unicorn on it. Oh, uh, I guess I got to capture that one. Uh, Dorian, walk out. You in the ballroom, you see Tarzan bleeding a bit, and he's like, got his knife out, and he's looking around. <laughs> Tarzan, you see Dorian. And dead Dorian. <laughs> who, who you? One alive. 
Uh oh. I don't know. I, I, I guess there's nothing for Dory to do, so that'll just be his, <laughs> his turn for now. <laughs> oh God, Doctor Watson. <laughs> Yep. All right, so oh. are the doors open? These doors are open. Okay. The ballroom doors aren't open, but you can see a trail of blood leading to them. All right, Dr. Watson is going to do what Dr. Watson does best. He's going to walk with his cane and he's going to take out his uh, his service his service pistol or service revolver and just walk forward. Looking for danger. Alright. Uh. Gonna charge on forward. Johnny yep. Appleseed. Alright. Oh, Dusty. Oh, sorry. Sure. Uh, is Johnny Appleseed's gonna walk in? Johnny Appleseed sees a lot of blood. He's just gonna walk in and take a big old keep eating his apple, just... <laughs> That'd be a lot of blood. That's a lot of blood. He spits. He's chewing tobacco. <laughs> Alright. Sergeant Fox. Okay, uh, Fox is going to advance into the house. And as soon as he sees that gigantic fucking blood, blood spatter in the foyer, mm -hmm. uh, I think I moved 20 there, uh, he is going to take... Uh, maybe not a dash action, but he's going to come up 10 more feet. Mm -hmm. And he's going to hold his uh, revolver at the ready um, with, with an attack action, obviously. Be like, what the fuck is going on here? They, they know this is Dorian Gray's house, right? Yes. Okay. It's Gray Manor. Uh, Tarzan. Oh, also, this this guy came oh. up with me, too. Yes. I think that's my bonus action. Um, okay. He'll stay up with me on alert. Uh, is uh, there a way I can get on one of these chandeliers? <laughs> Uh, like hang yeah, from it probably. so I can try to try to jump back on the unicorn. Yeah, because you got your rope out. Yeah. Um. Let's see. They're pretty high up. I'll say you can either do a sleight of hand or just make an attack roll and see if you can hit the chandelier. I will do an attack roll. Seventeen, you're able to whew, throw that rope up and and tie it. Uh, uh, which one am I on? Get it latched. There. Whichever one, you've got enough space. I will say this one because that's the way it went. All right. We're in theory. I don't know. No, and I'll say that um, you can use your reaction to do your swing thing to maybe jump on top of it. Okay. Cool. Uh, so when it pops back up, do little. All right. So, so I had to step away for a second. Is this is this unicorn the horse? This is a different horse, a okay. different unicorn. I'm going to I'm going to approach. All right. And this door is this door is knocked down, so I can see this unicorn. Yeah. I'm going to shout to the unicorn in horse. I'm going to say, horse, what's going on here? Oh, I'm a unicorn, not a horse. Oh, my mistake. I didn't see your unicorn. It's all right. I know you didn't mean it. Oh, well, you seem surely nice. And I'm going to come in the room. I came to save this poor man. 
who died oh. when a puppet bit his face in this oh. in this yeah. cupboard he was hiding in. Oh, but he that died. Makes, that makes sense because a puppet bit my face just in the other room. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. But uh, maybe we could work together to cleanse this room of puppets. Oh, I agree. Apparently there's what? a lot of that guy, so I wouldn't be too worried about it. I must warn you. Yes. An evil unicorn is here to kill me. Sent by the evil Dracula. Why does that name sound familiar? Well, we can discuss can... this afterwards, but I will defend your honor as I do for all animals. And what is your name, kind sir? You could call me Doolittle. Doctor but... Doolittle. <laughs> then I entrust my safety to you, O oh, Knight Doctor Doolittle. Yes. And your faith will not be misplaced. She, uh, this unicorn comes over to you, Doctor Doolittle, and and leans down. Are you still injured? Uh, I do. I am still missing some hit points. Yes. All right. Leans down and touches you with his horn. Oh. Oh, put it on GM. Healing you. Oh, I didn't have Ooh. it set up to do it. Quite Heal. a bit. Eight plus two. Ten hit points. Oh, hell yeah. Now I am full health. There you go, my champion. Yeah. Well, as I, I hear turn... the beast now, as uh -oh. as you hear a, a low neighing coming from that other room. Can I see through, uh, like, through Paul Bunyan's legs? Uh, you can. Do I see the horse? Do I see the unicorn? You, you don't see him. Unicorn? You see a low black smoke. Ooh. And is the name words that I understand? Uh, no, it's just sort of angered yelling. He's still growling. Yeah. All right. Well, noted. I think I'm... <laughs> As we get to Paul Bunyan. Paul Bunyan. Do a little bit talking with this unicorn. Yeah, I, I guess I just hear... Uh... I'm just going, going <laughs> you know, neighing, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, did he say what's in here? Never mind. Uh, <laughs> Doolittle's I'm, just. <laughs> I'm. I'm looking. I'm looking dreamily into the eyes of the unicorn at this time. It's so majestic. I, I don't know how you animal people get all wrapped up with this, and. Uh, what is it with chicks and horses? What is it with chicks and horses? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess I'm just going to say... <laughs> what am I, I going to say? I am going to uh, get the shotgun out and say, what's going on in here? And I'm going to gonna walk in here next to... Uh, next to... Uh, our, our friend uh, Dorian and, Gray. Dorian Gray. Sorry, I forgot his name. You see Tarzan. Actually, uh, he is on a, a rope, getting ready to swing. What are you doing up there? Me, me ride corn horse. Corn horse. Corn horse. Mm. Uh, yeah. All right. Whatever. And then he's just gonna he's just gonna walk around this corner and see what's up. He he's gonna dash to use his full movement, that's all. But okay. he's just gonna peek. Is that okay? Yeah, no, that's fine. Uh you see He's not gonna attack or do anything, just gonna look. Yeah. Down this hall more bloody uh doors and uh bloody hallways. Alright, that's his turn. Alright. Uh, that smoke suddenly pulls itself over here 
uh, as no, that unicorn appears basically mid charge. Um, and uh, Tarzan, if you would like to uh, leap onto it, you can attempt. All right, is that that's another acrobatics, right? Yes, it is actually charging this way, it was charging to where you were. 22. 22, you easily leap onto the back of it as it and actually charges towards Dorian Gray, unfortunately. <laughs> now, I do get a held action shot. Yes. Dorian, it's charging towards you. Oh. You and you realize you fired earlier and forgot to put another bullet. No, I found the cylinder. Oh, you did find this. Yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, and unfortunately, miss as the unicorn neighs loud and swiping. Uh, with is the store horn. open here? Uh, it is not. Okay. Dorian closed it uh, last time he was opened it. Oofa doofa, Dorian. Ooh. You get stabbed by this unicorn's horn, oh. uh, right in the middle of the fucking chest. Uh, or uh, 12, 13, uh, 18. 18 points of damage. Um, you are also on the horn as uh, you have been pierced by it. Oh. Um, as this happens, whoo, that smoke appears again as it disappears. Um, however, it is not unseen with you three. As unfortunately, it does actually appear in here. Uh, does it appear guys, right on top of me? It appears right in front of you. Dorian Gray pierced on the top of it. Tarzan on the back of it as it is charging. I also had a held action. Can I shoot? Uh, I think it's a disadvantage because he's that close, though. Uh, yes, you uh, you do have disadvantage, but you can use your held action. Or an eight. <laughs> or an eight. As you boom, like hit it subtly, uh, subtly, uh, suddenly appearing is such a shock to you that uh, you're just like fuck. Uh, <laughs> as it does, it boom, boom, this way, uh, charging towards this statue. Uh, Dorian pierced on the front of it. As we get to Dorian. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I'm gonna try to point blank. Uh point blank murder the goddamn thing right. with another a 15 will hit it all right uh seven seven as you boom shoot it it uh oops, I accidentally put like 700 and i also try uh, to push myself off of it as a bonus action i was gonna say roll 2d6 for me so okay. i will determine what exactly happens nine nine so mixed you uh, shoot it point blank. It neighs and lifts its head up, throwing you across the room. Uh, you are going to take uh, a d6. You will take a one damage. Oh, that's fine. Uh, as you are thrown across the room and oh. smack into this pillar. My fucking shirt's ruined. But get, get, get this horse out of my house. Somebody get this horse out of here. Oh, where did I go? And, uh, I don't know you... where your token is. Oh, there I am. It, yeah, it's right here. Oh. As Dorian, you were knocked against the wall. Dr. Watson. All right, Dr. Watson sees the horse, knows that, uh, we're going to take a couple steps back. And then I'm gonna fire at the horse. All right. Ten. A ten. You, boom! Shoot past, uh, past Johnny Appleseed, which causes his hat to kind of like spin around his head, uh, and the bullet misses because the unicorn kind of like jerks itself rather suddenly, uh, facing your guys' direction. Oh. 
Uh oh. Are these stairways or uh, That is the top of the stairway. Or is okay. it the bottom? As a monkey, can I just kind of like reach up and pull? Uh, like kind of like hang a little bit because I'm assuming like there's rafters, like not rafters, but like there's like banisters. Yeah, you're probably tall enough to be able to do that. All right, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna like reach up and like pull myself over. All right. As you whoop, get yourself as, up and over. As we'll go, we'll go there. That'll end me. Alright, Johnny Appleseed. Yeah, um... He, he, he's been teleporting around, right? Uh, he has. Alright. Uh, Johnny Appleseed is, uh... He's gonna move out of the way. Uh, move out into this room. Alright. And, uh, kick the door open and run into that room. Right, yeah. Um, and then, uh, yeah, that'll be it. He used the action and had to <laughs> open up that door to finish up moving. It's kind of, oh, dear Lord, he's too close. I was going to say, it's a use object to open the door if you did want to take a different action, like another action. Are you going to oh. hide? <laughs> you want to make a stealth check? Oh, it's a bonus action. Oh. I didn't realize that shillelagh was a bonus action actually well, if you want to change what you did yeah yeah, yeah. Um, let me change how i did i didn't realize shillelagh was a bonus that's on me i'll right. cast shillelagh and uh i'm gonna go up and do uh attack a rooney on that unicorn all right uh if i could find that shillelagh you swing and unfortunately it kind of whips its head to the side, uh, knocking your your weapon uh, away. Right. I guess it's a stick, right? Uh, yeah, it's a staff I'm wielding two-handed. Uh, it's a, a stick of an apple tree. Yeah. Uh, Fox, this thing is pissed, and it's big. It's right there. Um, what's the action economy to switch weapons? Uh, it's a. You can. Stow a weapon as a used object, but you have to spend, I think, at least a bonus to pull out a new one. Okay, for this turn, I'm gonna follow Dorian Gray's lead and point blank shoot this thing with my revolver. All right. Got seven. Seven, hit. unfortunately, does not. Didn't uh, think so. Again, um, it's it's just a buck and bronco, so it's like kicking around yeah. wildly. Uh, and then with my bonus action, I'm going to instruct my dog to bite. All right. It is a 16, which is going to hit. Oh, it just went to you. How do I send it to everybody? Oh, I think you have to change it to, uh, to GM or to not GM. I think everybody. Okay. I can um, go in there and mess with it and say. Yeah, either way. Uh, so 16, so I hit him for six piercing damage. So I'm guessing my... I said it. Yeah. Up. Oh, thanks. I'm guessing Shaggy got his leg. He did. He he bites onto its leg, and I need to make a strength check to see if I fall prone. Fourteen. He does not fall prone, but he is he's latched onto its leg. That'd be amazing if my little like Malamute managed to uh, knock it out, unicorn prone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's you know pissed off. It's bucking. The dog has now bit it. Tarzan, you are on its back. I, I pull my father's blade from in between my teeth and I attempt to stab it probably somewhere around the throat. All right. You do. Okay, hold Five. on. Let me use my savage attacker feet to re-roll that. Yep. Seven, I'll take the seven. Seven. As you stab it in the neck, it, you know, lets out this, like, loud neigh. Uh, super pissed off uh, and injured. Uh, I'm gonna spend a key point to do flurry of blows and attempt to to I don't know punch it in the neck. You're punching its head neck. 
15 will hit it. All right. Take six. Let me post way the open hand. Uh, it's got to make a dexterity saving throw or be knocked prone. All right. Uh, uh, fuck, what is this against? Uh, what's my DC? Is it, uh, what is it, is it eight plus modifier plus proficiency? Yes. Okay, then, yeah, it's just against a 12. You made it. Yeah, so he close. barely makes it. Does uh, it... <laughs> I, I punch him in the neck again, I hope. I think I miss. All right. You that's... do not, as you sort of butt. Stars in. Do little. All right, Doolittle is going to be like, I mean, I see this commotion happening down the hallway now. Yeah. Now you can actually uh, see it. Yeah. Yeah, and I believe my own eyes. So I'm going to make a mad dash. Uh, to use a total of 60 feet uh, to here, running forward to help my friends. I'm also going to use my bonus action to command Jip to do the same. Uh -huh. Uh, like, you know, come, let's fuck this unicorn up. <laughs> and, uh, and Jip has 40 movement speed, so, you know, using his dash, he can go 80. So he's going to get to, he's going to, oh, do I want to get, yeah, he, I'll just, you know, I'll, he's going to get there. He's going to get there, but that was his action to, to get there, so. All right. Paul Bunyan. Paul Bunyan. Imagining that there's certainly some commotion around here, but he doesn't know what's going on. He uh, opens this door quickly. You open this door very quickly. You open this door really quickly, whew, revealing a laundry room, blood everywhere. You see a Torian laying on the ground, uh, blood dripping down him as he has been uh, killed. Well, we've uh, seen this before. And he actually... Well, we've, we've, now, we've seen this before. Yeah. <laughs> as out of the laundry next to you... <laughs> biting I was just about neck. to shut the door, dude. <laughs> just about to do it. Ah! As <laughs> last, just oh of my camera. gosh! <laughs> Paul oh, Bunyan, <laughs> again, has to use his American's endurance <laughs> to not get fucked up by this puppet. Uh, where is that thing? There we go. He's going to roll. All right. All right. He's got to <laughs> mitigate 12 damage. Yeah. But still, holy. Yeah. Holy, holy moly, does it? This Holy moly. Right it's latched on to you. Paul Bunyan. Can he attack it? He can't. <laughs> uh, well, let's see. He, uh, I guess he, using his, uh, it, you know, ex extremely powerful arms, he just reaches up and grabs this puppet and attempts to throw it on the ground where he'll then, you know, uh, try to smack it with his axe. Yeah. Should he do a, a, a strength maybe to try to rip it off and... Uh, you can make an athletics check to try to pry it from you. All right, that's what I'm going to do. How oh, easily you just rip it off of you as he's sort of swatting at you. Ah, I got those strings, and I want to be a real boy. Ah. He, uh, you know what? It, 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 instead of using his axe, he, uh, he points his shotgun right at it, and <laughs> boom! Boom! Uh, as you do, unfortunately, you miss it as it's, like, kicking and swatting around as you've grabbed it by its, basically, leader hosen. Okay. Can he, can he fire the second bullet? You can. Okay. Boom! 
<laughs> he misses that one as well. <laughs> this is so, he fucking fucking Dorian Gray just hears these huge blasts down the hall. <laughs> Paul you Bunyan see there's a runs fucking away. hole in the, the room. <laughs> no. Are you still holding on to him? Oh, no, no, no. Are you Paul dropping? Bunyan's running away in that turn. All right, hold on. He's <laughs> like screaming down the hallway. A puppet! Oh, God. Well, it makes sense. The puppet's on 21. Ah! And it's like lifts its hands up and it's starting to run down the hall. Uh, Dorian. Uh, Dorian's very pissed off. This horse is in his fucking house. Uh, and he's going to walk up and, and shoot the thing point blank again. I love that you're purposely giving yourself disadvantage. <laughs> Uh, do I get disadvantage for point? If yeah, you're uh, or... within five okay, yeah. feet of it, I'll 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 walk just just out of point blank. <laughs> yeah. Uh... And you, oh, boom! God. You you shoot past it, Dorian, and you actually smash like a really nice vase you have. <sighs> well. The whole place has to get refinished anyway. All right. Come on, can't you guys kill a horse? <laughs> as, experts at this. We try. As the horse neighs very loud and again very angrily. Uh, you see that swirling back black smoke around it as it woof. Uh appears taking uh fox your dog with it and uh and tarzan mm -hmm. the dog's actually going to end up on the opposite side it'll be here because he is charging forward uh pissed off and <laughs> dr doolittle yes sir behind you suddenly appears that pissed off uh unicorn Ooh. As it charges, uh, swiping at you for 13 damage. Uh, oh, you're assuming a 23 hits, huh? Yes. <laughs> it does indeed. As I, oh, fuck. As fuck, you get stabbed and are impaled in the shoulder by it. Oh, uh, no. As it continues to barrel forward. Oh, and it's dragging me along with it? It is dragging you along with it. Oh, wait, no, it's impaled you. Sorry. It, it is charging forward, however. Oops. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do uh, this. Because it is poof in that black smoke again. Uh, appearing here and is charging towards that door. Uh, you at the, the helm of him. Oh man, this is going to be Watson. bad, guys. Uh, Rachel, yeah. what Let's does Dr. See. Watson do? Uh, well, oh, do little. You also hear it go, I can smell her on you. I can smell her. Oh, oh, mm hmm. So is this area open? Yes, this door is open. All right, we're gonna do some cool. We're gonna do some cool monkey shit. As I'm going to flip over the, the railing and go here. No. Oh. As can I like hang on to like the railing and still be you like can. up in the doorway? Yeah, you're like five foot up basically. Okay, so. I still have shots. I'm gonna I'm gonna fire another shot and try to hit the horse. Alright. Bang! That's gonna hit. Fifteen. Fifteen That's boom! You get a good shot at it. Uh do a little roll 2d6. Oh man, alright. Uh 
seven. A seven, uh, it's going to be a mix. So as you do, uh, or as it gets shot, Doolittle, it sort of rears backwards, tossing you over its head. Uh, you're going to be dealt one damage as you slam into the ground and kind of slide across the ballroom. Oh, could be worse. <laughs> as I'm going to kind of like hang up, ha hang out up here. That ends me. <laughs> Johnny Appleseed. Uh, Johnny Appleseed has got to get to here. Uh, he is going to uh, not do anything because I have nothing I can do for right now. All right, uh, Sergeant Fox. So it was a free action to stow my weapon and a bonus action to use a different one. Yep, or you can just use a, a free action if you drop the weapon you're currently carrying. Um, yeah, he's going to drop his revolver and uh, take out his rifle. All right. Um, I'm going to move up to here. 25. Right spot. And then he is going to line up a shot with his rifle and take it. <laughs> Boom. See if I hit. Six. No, I missed. <laughs> All right. I need you to roll 2d6. God damn it. <laughs> we haven't we haven't done revolver ones yet, so. This is uh this is a hunting rifle. All right. Well, I mean a uh, firearm. Two. Oof. Okay. As you <laughs> it clicks. Your gun is jammed. Damn. Okay. Um, with my bonus action, I am going to instruct Shaggy to bite again. All right. Is it 12 hit or is it 22? I think it's 12. Yep. That'll hit. Okay. Uh, for five piercing. Five piercing. And it needs to make a strength check, which is pretty good at. Yeah. All right. It does not uh, stumble prone, but you are the dog is still latched to it. And what is the uh, how, how do I clear a jam? Uh, it is an action to clear a jam. OK. Uh, Tarzan. Uh, Tarzan stab unicorn. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Specifically. You can use one of your attacks. So if you get multi-attack, for example, you can spend one of them to clear a jam. Otherwise, it's just an action. OK. Uh, as Tarzan, you stab in the neck of this thing. I'm going to use my savage attacker again. I clicked the wrong right. button, but let me paste it. For another seven. All right. Um, as will... you stab it. Yep. Um, out of its neck begins bullying out not blood but smoke and little bits of like fire like this sort of necrotic fire is that like a uh, sulfur smell intensifying yes it is very strong uh, I'm spending another key point to do flurry of blows punch at him hell yeah hell yeah Honestly, he's got to make another dex save to see if he gets knocked prone alright so he's going to take Actually, he will go prone as you wham, wham. And how you finish it? Um, yeah, I just I I collapse his throat with my fist. As you boom, smash his throat, hit nays, rocking side to side, smacking into a wall before falling to the ground. Boom. As it does, those wounds on it begin to bellow out that necrotic flame and smoke as it billows out uh, before exploding into this dark, shadowy uh, form before slowly dissipating, leaving behind only a small straw, uh, basically a small straw, uh, uh, what do they call it? Poppet of a unicorn with the same color scheme. Mm. Tarzan will pick up the small 
straw unicorn and hold it up. Oh, wait. Hold on. I have more. I forgot. Fall back. I need you to make a deck save. Oh, God. And he like leaps into the air. Uh, Paul, you uh, duck out of the way as he has jumped onto you, but he has not um, bitten you yet. He is like trying to bite you. Oh, um, grappled onto you. Uh, do little. You see Paul Bunyan with another one of them fucking puppets. <laughs> Well, I do see the puppet. Uh, I'm gonna get up because I am prone, I believe. Yeah. Yep. And I'm gonna I'll be like, I haven't been a very effective combatant so far, and I'm gonna run towards uh, towards Bunyan, uh, <laughs> my 15 feet because I used half to stand up. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna dash up over there because then I'm not gonna be able to attack anyway. But I am gonna call Jip. Jip's going to be coming running all the way back. Right. <laughs> uh, let's see. If we'll go here. But because, because he had a dash, he cannot attack. So, That's cool. <laughs> so I'm, uh, I'm ready, though. I'm ready. Yeah. I'm helping. I'm helping. <laughs> As Paul Bunyan, you are... Again, he's tangled up in my beard. I can hear his his teeth going, tuck, 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 trying to get at my, get... snap at my neck. Yeah. I, Let me get a bit of that I grab neck. him by his strangely long nose and oh. attempt to throw him down on the ground, just like I did before. All right. Make it... Athletics. Athletics. Unfortunately, this one's a little more squirrely. All He's right. like ducking through your beard. You like grab Oof. your beard on accident, and then he pokes your hand with his sharp uh, nose. I say, uh, "This is pretty dangerous," and I take my shotgun <laughs> and I, I put it up. I point it up next to my head. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and I, I attempt. And you pull the trigger. <laughs> Pull the trigger. Boom. <laughs> Boom. A loud blast goes off. Uh, Paul Bunyan, you are deaf at the moment. Ooh. For 13, as it just blows this fucking puppet to shrapnel. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What? You just hear this loud ringing. <laughs> That's Paul Bunyan's turn. <laughs> As we end combat. <laughs> As I come as I come running up panting. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, do we win? Huh? Do we win? I hear, I, I imagine I hear like, of the parents and Charlie Brown. Yeah. <laughs> this beautiful unicorn comes out and goes, oh, let me help you. And it taps you, Paul Bunyan, with its horn. And it's going to heal you for 12. Oh, wow. And you are, that ringing goes away. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Unicorn. I I must have missed your name. Oh, I am but an immortal unicorn. We don't have things like names. Well, then we'll call you Uni. That sounds fine by me. So it is. Well, thank you, Uni. Hey, you wouldn't happen to be able to, like, help us with your magic somehow. 
as a reward for saving you from that evil unicorn? Oh, of course. I wanted to try and help these two, but I failed. And he, the unicorn heads, uni heads over here. Uh, into the room. If the rest of you want to move in or if you want to do other things, you're more than welcome. Yeah, come on, yeah, in, guys. I'm... Let's all get in the room together. Yeah, Fox is going to collect his revolver and clear the jam out of his rifle, swearing about the sea air, resting his gun, and yep. then he'll come up. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't right. fired it. It was the sea. <laughs> I'll reload and then just kind of like... Oh, yeah, I reloaded too on my revolver. Look, yeah. o look over everybody to make certain they're just like kind of... Everybody's just kind of cool and we're okay. Before all this happens, Dorian's going to go and get a copy of uh, Doolittle's doctoral thesis... And uh, put it right next to the John. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then he's going to come back and just make, sh make sure that everybody knows where the guest bathroom is. Yeah. <laughs> it's just right down the hall. Yeah, right down there. So, don't worry. No issue. Uh, he goes, yes, I tried to help them, but it was no use. Dracula's minions had already gotten to them. And it uses its horn to open this uh this uh cupboard uh out plopping Dorian Gray. Uh but then pops out a different man. Is he dead? Yeah, okay. Uh, he is dead yeah, as well. Um, he is very, very pale, and uh, he is sort of rigor mortis to some degree as his hands are up uh, and, and stuck in terror. Uh, the Dorian Gray that's in here uh, is not like that. It looks like he was killed uh, by, like, a physical beating. Do I, do I know who this guy is? Uh, you can make a history check. Okay. And is this my bedroom? This is your bedroom. Okay. Uh, okay you 14. look at him. He looks familiar. You used to, you know, deal with the upper echelon of society, and you, you feel like you recognize his face. Um, but you can't quite point how well i think i knew this man once let me go and uh, and uh dorian's gonna rummage through his pockets right. rummaging through, through his pockets hands. uh you find his wallet in it is fifty dollars as well as 40 pounds. He's an international And his license. Man. His license with his picture says Brom Stoker. Oh. Not my good friend Brom. He must have come to check on you. Yes. Um, there is also a note. Write that Dracula book. He did write that Dracula book. Uh, you also find a note. Uh, it looks like it's a, a letter that was hastily penned, um, and you actually recognize the stationery. It's stationery, or it's stationery from this room. It's your own personal one. So he must have scribbled this down before he was killed. Uh, I'm going to open it up and read it. The note says, To my dear friend, Ebenezer Scrooge, I came to investigate the house to see if I could find Dorian Gray. Unfortunately, I found my friend slain. Slain quite often. It was there that I overheard from an invisible man a scheme to kill both you and I. 
his minions, Dracula, the one I wrote about. He is sending after you three ghosts, one called <laughs> past, present, and future. <laughs> you mustn't go to your manor, or else you'll... And unfortunately, it was cut short. Oh. Ooh, we very well. Yeah. Well, no, Dorian didn't read that last part out loud. Oh, okay. he, doesn't, he doesn't like Ebenezer very much. <laughs> he just kind of said, oh, and yeah, yeah, and Ebenezer's great and everything. Um, but, but Dorian, you come to a horrible realization. Ebenezer was your banker. If he dies, it's going to be a bitch to get your funds. Because you're going to have to, like, prove you're not dead. You're going to have to do a lot of shit. Well, nobody nobody knows uh, he's dead. There's a lot of bodies, and you feel like Ebenezer would totally be cool with hiding those bodies if it meant, like, not having to do paperwork or maybe getting your life insurance. Didn't he try to take my house? He did. Well, that was because he was your banker. He oh, was your okay. loan. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's not because he's Scrooge. That's because he's oh. a bank. <laughs> yeah. We must, we must make haste to save Ebenezer. How else will I pay for the new champagne bottles? And Dorian's just going to just fuck it. Fuck it. Heading. Fuck it. Heading, uh, heading down away. Uh, this unicorn goes, if, if you can try and save them, then, then I'll feel like my being here was not for naught. Uh, here, do little. Yeah. And, uh, Hold out your hand. All right. I'll hold out. And uh, the unicorn dips its uh, its head down, touching you on the hand uh, with its horn. Okay. And when it okay. does, you see a little uh, sort of rune of a unicorn's horn appear on your hand Ooh. if you are ever in danger just call upon me uni and i will be there sounds good i will salute i will salute the unicorn and then i will i will ask i will ask for consent first and then i will pet the unicorn. She lets you pet her. I will do it. Um, as you do, she slowly uh, disappears into kind of glitter, and the smell of sweet, sweet uh, cotton candy fills the room. I will always be with you. Bye forever. Bye forever. Ah, oh, what a beautiful animal. That was a beautiful animal. It's a beautiful well, guys, animal. Tarzan, remember horse animal. with this smaller horse. Tarzan, you hold up this <laughs> this horse. Yeah, the straw um, horse. Unicorn. And without making a check, uh, Fox you actually recognize this horse. It's a little straw um, poppet uh, in the same style as uh, in Algonquin, um, basically straw figures. Now, how did you come across this? He's more talking to himself. This is what we pulled out of the, the uh, evil unicorn, right? Yeah, yeah, this is what it turned into. Small horse come from... That black smoke disappeared and left horse. that behind. Well, I think I need to talk to this Dracula person. 
You think he's Algonquin? No, I don't. I don't think Dracula. <laughs> is that is that what Tarzan asks? You think Dracula? <laughs> Algonquin. Man, I didn't know Tarzan was so like well cultured. <laughs> He's he's been reading all the all the books in French and a little bit in English. Yeah, part of his practice. Well, he's taken aback for a second. Like he's like, maybe I misjudged Tarzan. But um, he's gonna say, I think this is certainly their witchcraft. I don't know how this Dracula person knows it. It's interesting. Hmm. It's the best lead he now has for the Wendigo. Yeah. Tarzan wonder also like is it safe? I don't know, Tarzan. That's above my pay grade, buddy. <laughs> I'll, uh, maybe uh maybe one of the doctors here would know though. Yeah, I'll turn to Dr. Doolittle. You like animal? Here, and I'm gonna oh, just love hand him this, uh, this straw <laughs> unicorn. <laughs> Can I do um I don't know if that counts as a medicine check, but can I look at this? Can I try to figure out what's going on with this? Straw? Yeah, you could do a. What are, what are you trying to figure out from it? I guess. Um. Well, it sounds like Tarzan's telling me that it it can be used. What what is Tarzan telling me it can be used as? Decoration. Um. Fox, right, I'll let you Fox do say witchcraft. Fox say witchcraft. witchcraft. Yeah. Witchcraft. I'll let you I do, a, do history a witchcraft or an insight. Or Arcana, um, if you want to go. We can say Arcana is witchcraft. I'll I'm good at I'm good at insight. I'm gonna insight. All right. Um 16. having been to the Polynesian Isles, I have. you've met like many native uh tribes and things. Yeah. You know that this is a type of poppet, uh, which is generally used to sort of conjure up uh spirits. Um, the hope is to draw in a spirit of something that is, you know, generally good. Uh, but this one obviously has been made to be uh, rather nefarious. Uh, mm. Drawing from evil spirits or evil auras of some variety. And it's trying and it's. Um, it's like a is it like a, it's like a voodoo doll or it's just a, a what is a poppet? A poppet is just like a straw figure, basically. Uh, but it's by, an like, evil figure. Yeah, so this is trying to draw an evil spirit. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if we should hang on to this, buddy. It's it's drawing evil spirits to us. Maybe now, you, you feel like maybe a Johnny use for apples. Yeah. Johnny, you want this? Sorry, what? Would you like this uh, nice horse doll? Definitely not evil. Definitely not evil. Yeah, it looks nice. I'll take that little ramp scampion. I will give, I will give Johnny Appleseed the, uh, <laughs> the poppet. You take the... The black unicorn poppet. Johnny will give it a, like a good like a sniff, to see sniff. if it smells funny. And it's uh, very earthy. Mm -hmm. uh, you can make an arcana check if you want. Uh, sure. No. You give it a whiff. It it smells of sulfur and soot. Johnny Oxy will just shrug and just put it into his like back pocket. All right. Uh, as as you I guess are all heading towards the front door, like Bay is just looking in, and seeing you all. Didn't help in any of that encounter. Just decided <laughs> Bay was going to watch this time. Paul Bunyan, you see this too. You also see her chewing on roses. Good babe. Uh, as you all uh, rush out, uh, I imagine heading towards uh, the home 
of a one Ebenezer Scrooge. Yeah. Um, oh, as we should, you we should all... probably let Scotland Yard know to come check this place out and look through it, right? Yeah, yeah if you want to yeah, call for yeah, them. Don't do that. Gray, you've got a dead writer in your closet. I think they were going to want to check this out. No. And no, a, a no, dead butler right. right there. There's look a dead butler right all there. All the blood. <laughs> and about six dead ewes. I don't know what you got up to, but I think they're going to want to check this out. No, I don't think you should tell them. I think I'm going to be telling them. <laughs> As you... I, I look I look at... I look back at the party and just kind of like do the like cutthroat thing and then kind of point <laughs> over. <laughs> what do you what, think? You want, us, you want us to kill him? Oh, I don't think he wants to die. You don't want to die, do you? Yeah. <sighs> Paul Bunyan steps up and, and talks to Red and says, you, you know, I, under normal circumstances, I would agree we should tell the police, but I mean, we are wanted fugitives. Uh, maybe it's best we don't involve them as much as possible. That's a good point. You're not wanted in this country. Actually. <laughs> and then Paul Bunyan actually thinks about that and he looks around and he goes, Roll 2d6. <laughs> okay. We're not wanted yet. A six. Okay. Actually, Paul Bunyan, you and Johnny Appleseed in your youth, did take a vacation to London one time and may or may not have <laughs> done some inappropriate things to Big Ben. Ooh. <sighs> See, I didn't think I'd have to come back here. Yes. Uh, Johnny, you you remember the uh, the Big Ben incident? Oh, when I bet you, you couldn't chop down that golly ass statue in the middle of this godforsaken land. Big Ben, I believe, I, is a uh, clock tower. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I did try to. I same. did try to chop down Big Ben. Yeah, sure. you see how uh, they won't forget me that easily, right? You're pretty noticeable. You are. You are. Hey, can I tell you, made a new down friend. Down a I'm clock a, tower. I'm I'm a little bit bigger now. I bet I could do it. What do you think, babe? You know, I bet you couldn't chop it down. Well, if we see Big Ben, I'm gonna give it another oh, go. Okay. I gotta play silly American music. I said let's go <laughs> chop it down right now. We're not in a rush or anything. <laughs> That's a good idea. Actually, if you want to tell the police about this place, me and Johnny Appleseed have a uh, a bet to to attempt, you know, you know, the old uh, Kansas City shuffle while they're looking in <laughs> while they're looking in uh, the manor. We'll be off chopping down Big Ben. Oh, no statues limitations. <laughs> oh, yeah. by the way, I planted a few more apple trees in this godforsaken land. So good. <sighs> well done, Appleseed. Yeah. I slap him on the back. A hearty, a hearty, friendly smack. Let's go make you lose that bet. <laughs> Let's go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> fucking Americans. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Watson, what do you think? Uh, well... Sorry, I'm perturbed by just the amount of blood that is around us. Oh. Smash cut. We're in front of Big Ben with Johnny Appleseed <laughs> and Paul Bunyan. Paul Bunyan sharpening the axe. Uh, Paul uh, Bunyan. Yeah, we listen, do this. I, I don't think you can actually cut it down. No, I'm, all like, I'm all for a good bet, but seriously. Okay, you stop. You, We've you, got to get, get a Scrooge. Get, hold on, hold you, on. You, We're you already here. We're already here. <laughs> yeah, let me and, turn uh, into my tree form. 
Yeah. Johnny. <sighs> why do you have watch a and learn, on? Johnny? And uh Bunyan, don't Paul do Bunyan. It. Paul Bunyan actually You're gonna get us kicked out of the country. <sighs> hold on, hold on. I, I mean this you is see, the there's, old there's time. One, don't you want your house back? There's one constable nearby who goes, Nothing to see here. No problem. <laughs> Johnny, oh. I want you to go distract that constable. Good uh, sir, do you want an apple? As he, Johnny runs off to the constable with an apple. No, I'm full. It's a good apple. You see a little root coming out of his ear. Oh. It's oh, the here. other palace guard. Here. Here's two apples. Give them to two other constables. You deserve oh. it. <laughs> Fox knocks them out of his hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? They'll, still, they'll still grow. You You're see, a crowd is starting to form trees. as you're <laughs> practice swinging your axe. Paul Bunyan is stretching right now. And as he's <laughs> stretching, he seems to be growing a little bit, even a little bit bigger. And uh, <sighs> he goes, Johnny Appleseed knows this, but the rest of you might not. I'm the Titan of Timber. It's, and it's uh, not made of timber. He yeah. grows even larger. And uh, he goes, one, two, three, baby, watch. And he gives it a he gives it the most the hardiest swing he possibly can at the base of Big Ben. Alright. I need you to roll 2D6. Eight. You one, two, three, <laughs> and swing it at Big Ben. And when you do, you whoosh, take a big chunk out of Big Ben. It doesn't fall over, but Big Ben just kind of like falls back onto itself. You just took a clean cut. So it's perfect. Big Ben doesn't fall over, but you have cut a basically a groove in it. And as this happens, you hold it right there. And Paul coming Bunyan. down the street, you see a bunch of royal guards. Uh, and hold on, I have it here somewhere. Damn it, I didn't fucking pick the right one. No, not that. <laughs> that was what I should have played. That's what you should have played. <laughs> this yeah. one. You see, it's the King of England. I, and he I, goes, Big, listen, hey, you. I, I shimmy around Big Ben <laughs> so that Big Ben is between me and the king. Come out here, Mr. Bunyan. You too. I see you, Appleseed. Ooh, I, I look at Appleseed like, what do we do? You rap scallions. Oh. You, oh. you come you come out here this instant so uh, I can give you a stern talking to. Oh. Does Paul Bunyan know where the bank is? Uh you know it's uh away from you. All right. He's going to start running down the street away from the king. You, you bom, get back bom, here. Bom, bom, bom. Wait, what hey, is this? You can, you rep scallions get back here. He trips over his big cape. What uh it's, what year it has to be post 1859. It's the 1800s. Yeah, but, but 18 what? <laughs> you don't need to know that. Look, it's just the 1800s. Look, we can I narrow it down. I just want to make sure look, it's not a queen right now. It's the king it's, of England. It's 1859 or later. Based off the fact yeah, that Big Ben cute. exists to be chopped down. He oh, says, don't you, <laughs> don't you know my, I'm king. Whoa, oh, he fell problem. over. <laughs> oh, whoa. Johnny will Hear throw the an apple. Yeah. Johnny will throw an apple at him and then keep running. Oh, uh, so come on, Appleseed. It's the three of We got away uh, once, we can do it again. As, as you all run away, 
Edward the Seventh. <laughs> oh, but Edward the Seventh reign started 1901. Yep. So it's, it it's wouldn't Victoria. be the it wouldn't be as, the 1800s. Now hold on. Now hold on. Now hold on. As as and, you run away, as all of you Vic run away, <laughs> to Caesar's house. She, he Victoria comes out and she goes, "Oh, at it again, I see." And he goes, it "Yes." Was, the, it was it was Prince Albert of Saxe Coburg and Gotha, who is oh, not Albert the king. Oh, Albert of Gotha, female, you're not the, the king. king. You're the concubine of me, the says Victoria. The, <laughs> the consort. consort. <laughs> oh, those rapscallion Americans. To think they would do it on, and he, she looks up at Big Ben and above it, in beautiful lights, it says Christmas Eve. <laughs> on Christmas Eve, <laughs> the end of tonight's session. That's so funny. <laughs> oh and that, everybody take a bow. Close the curtain. Adieu. For tonight's episode. So Adieu. The British are just okay with us destroying Big Ben. They don't have a choice. You cut it a perfect one centimeter shorter than what it is. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more clock cutting action from the Adventurer's Landing. <laughs> this is our ending song. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, guys. Here, it's almost over. Duh, duh. Beautiful. <laughs>